Hi guys and welcome to a new video today. Samsung Galaxy S3 in my hands, which is the flagship phone of Samsung from the year 2012. So yes, this phone is almost five years old and it's still working pretty well. Today I've installed the latest Android version called Android Nougat, Android 7.1 to this device and let's see how this 2012 phone can handle a 2016, a late 2016 system. Let's check it out. This was the phone I was talking about, the Samsung Galaxy S3. And as I said earlier, this phone runs Android Nougat 7.1, as you can see here. And um, here you can see it again, it's Android Nougat 7.1. And yeah, let's go back. Oops. And this one is Samsung Mod. This is Samsung Mod 14.1, as you can see here. And yeah, let's start with the review and the overview of this ROM. So before we start talking about the features and other stuff of the ROM, let's talk about the bugs first, because the bugs are most times, most time the deal breakers for everyone to use a ROM. So this ROM does contain bugs, but the bugs are not really bad bugs, so actually. So the camera is working, Wi-Fi is working, um, the SIM card is also working, I've just no SIM in this phone because it's not my daily driver, Bluetooth is working and yeah, pretty much everything is working. The only thing which I saw which is not working is the camcorder, so if you open the camera and try to record something, now it won't save the thing you have recorded, so camcorder is not working, but I guess you can download any other camera app from, from the Play Store. Um, and yeah, you're good to go then. So other pictures are working and they are also, uh, the phone can also save these pictures you have token. And yeah, here's a different kind of bug as you can see. But yeah, it's kind of weird now. <laughs> so let's start with the features. So um, yeah, so in the settings you have an option called display, so it's there are the standard options over here, but there are some new options, like um, 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 font size, you can ch change the font size over here, and you also have the an option called display size, which will allow you to scale the DPI of the phone, so you can make it small over here, and everything of the phone will get smaller, as you can see here. Um, and I think also the the, the uh, fonts will get slow, uh, smaller also, you can make it even bigger. And then it will look like that here, as you can see. So I like it at the middle here. Yeah, this one is the best one. So let's go back. And yeah, you have um, the standard stuff like expanded desktop, all that standard standard mod stuff. Yeah. So let's move on now. We also have the notifications options here where you can set which apps are allowed to give a notification. And you have the sound option here, apps option, storage option, and you can also use your micro SD card as an um, as an internal storage just like an Android Marshmallow, Android 6.0 and yeah you have different stuff here like users and buttons so let's get in there here you can um, change the actions of each button so for example the volume rockers and the buttons at the bottom here um, but you can also enable the navigation bar over here and you can also change the buttons and the layout of the navigation bar so um, yeah let's do that and yeah as you can see you can change the navigation and if you enable the, um, the navigation bar you won't be able to use the buttons at the, the hardware buttons at the bottom anymore so as you can see they won't work anymore and yeah let's deactivate them and you can also change everything in the power menu so you can um, choose if you want to have the screenshot option in the power menu let's, let me show you that 
So here you have the screenshot option and if you press there it will directly take a screenshot from the power menu. And you also have the sound panel over there, as you can see at the bottom. Let's go back now. And yeah, these are all the standard stuff which you may know from Cyanogen Mod, so I'm not going to talk about them. Let's go on now. And yeah, we have something called Advanced Display in the settings also, where you can set the um, display to negative, for example, or you can also change the colors, the color filter or something, just like in um, Touches, which was called Ambient Display, I think. Um, here you can set the display type, so this one is um, this one is more bluish and uh, yeah, as you can see this one is also bluish where this one is just like standard so they don't matter that much and um, yeah, you actually don't need to play with them because they don't they really don't matter that much. I mean, you can't see a difference between all of these here. So let's go on. We also have the standard stuff, just like in any other phone, like language and privacy accounts, all that. But at the bottom here, we have something called status bar. If you go in there, you can see plenty of um, options which you can change. For example, the clock, the clock style, you can choose um, where the clock has to be so you can center the clock or you can do, uh, set the clock at the right side and all that standard stuff you can also um, use quick pull down for example from the ref if you pull down the um, notification panel from the right side it will directly get into the toggle area if you pull it from the left side it will get into the notifications area so this is something um, useful you can also show choose if you want to sh see the weather at the um, status bar or not and yeah there's something called double tap to sleep so if you double tap the status bar it will go to sleep mode which is also really useful if you have broken the power button for example so let's go back and there's something called system your tuner which is available since android marshmallow of course you don't have that many options in like an Android Marshmallow because in Android Marshmallow you were able to um, reorganize the toggles over here but now you can reorganize the toggles from directly from here so um, you can choose which toggles you want to see and which ones not so let's do that here and you can also have different um, pages as you can see so um, yeah let's go back and yeah this was settings now so the home screen is almost the same I guess you don't get the uh, latest pixel launcher together with this ROM um, it's still the same launcher just like in Android Marshmallow and uh, yeah so I'm not pretty sure if you will get it in uh, any time so you may get it in um, newer builds but in that latest Android 7.1 build for the Samsung Galaxy S3 you don't get the new pixel launcher so yeah now let's talk about the best feature in android nougat which is the uh, multi-window feature so you for that you need to go into the uh, recents as you can see and the recents are also designed new as you can see um to get into the um multi-window or split screen split screen view you need to um choose an app first so in my case i will choose settings and you need to hold and drag it to the, at the top here and at the bottom you can choose another app for example the uh, phone app and as you can see you have two apps running at the same time now and you can also change the size of both and if you want to go back you just need to hold this um, bar here and pull it at the top and now you aren't in split screen mode anymore Now let's talk about the apps which come preloaded with the ROM. So I've installed the G apps already. So you don't get the Play Store with this ROM. You need to install the G apps to get the um, to get the Play Store and any other Google app. Um, so what you get is everything else than the Play Store. So any other app, like even the screen recorder, is included in the ROM. So but there 
isn't actually any change in any app, so pretty much every app is still the same, just like in Android Lollipop or in Android Marshmallow. So every app is the same, each app is the same, except for the settings app, of course, and other um, apps. And uh, yeah, also the email app is the same. And but now let's talk about the differences between Android 7.0 and Android 7.1. So in Android 7.1 you get a different kind of um, notification panel. So as you can see here, oops, as you can see here, this one is a bit darker than the older one. And also you get the arrow at the top here. So in Android 7.0 this arrow was in, uh, there. And in Android 6.0 sorry, in Android 7.0, you had only five quick toggles at the top here. So in that case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six toggles here. And in Android 7.1, you only had five. And instead of the sixth one here, you had the arrow at the bottom here. And another thing which is different now is the uh, settings shortcut over there, which is shown directly here. In Android Nougat, you had to swipe twice to get into the settings. Another thing which has been changed is the um, is the um, button this button here which was at the but button here and now it's at the top and it said reorganize or something like that now it's just an icon as you can see but actually it's uh, it opens the same menu and uh, yeah this is pretty much everything in the notification panel and uh, yeah so to conclude, this is a really stable ROM and it's ready for being a daily driver. Although the um, battery drains much faster than on the stock ROM or in any other Marshmallow or Lollipop ROM. But actually this phone is a 5 year old phone and performance wise this phone uh, runs really really fast together with this new Android 7.1 Spanish Mode 14.1 ROM. And yeah, I'm recommending you to at least to give a try for this ROM, to check it out, how your phone performs, uh, how your old S3 performs with the new Android Nougat. And yeah, this was my video about Android 7.1 Android Nougat on a Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, give a thumbs up if you liked the video and peace.